and it will presumably make us go live. And, and we're live? Theoretically. Yep, we're oh, live. Excellent. Well, here we are for uh, a little Knife Nuts mini-sode. Dave, it's been a while, as always. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. That's how it works. We're not dead. We're, yeah, not dead yet. That's that's not always the answer. We're never yeah. we're never truly alive, but we are also never quite dead. We just exist in that liminal space. That's right, liminal space. That's that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, I do. I am still trying to confirm some guest stuff for a full episode, so um, that should happen. Yeah, know? I mean, a very exciting guest for me personally. Uh, yeah. Keep it I, under wraps. I'm sure no one. I was gonna say, uh, very important. No one's gonna guess about anyway. childhood, but nobody is gonna guess that part either. No. Oh wow, Jeremiah is promptly in the live chat. I mean, there is oh. no one in here but PVK. Good for good for you, Jeremiah. Hey, Jer. How are you, buddy? <laughs> I just said Schrodinger's cat. Yes, that is. It's Schrodinger's <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So the reason I wanted to get together, David, as you know, um. There were a there was a lot happening at Shot Show this year, um, yeah, and that's part of the reason we haven't popped in is it's been pretty quiet on the Western Front, you know, as far as knife news goes. Um, but Shot Show had a lot to offer, so I think we should go through um, and take a look at stuff. I know I told you I haven't seen everything. I saw a couple things, but not mm. everything. So I think a lot of our reactions are going to be genuine. I, uh, yeah, I have looked very little um, at this. I have seen some of the things. Unfortunately, I think I have some familiarity with Benchmade's new lineup because uh, I still check Blade HQ and GP Knives and everything every day and pvk.com. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, I would say I am pretty out of the loop when it comes to this. I mean, I'm not out of the loop in the sense that I know Shot Show is kind of the new Blade show almost when it mm. comes to like new reveals. It's more like mm -hmm. the new reveal show, so right, um, yeah. So everyone has their a few, you know, they had their prototypes here, and then maybe there's a there was a much June, right? There was a much stronger knife presence at uh, this year's shot show. Yeah, but before we get into that, before we get into that, I have I want to do some housekeeping stuff. Um, yes. uh, a dealer that I'm not familiar with has a bunch of exciting. Sharp by Design Mini Tempests for sale. Oh, Exclusive Caviso, to them. right? Caviso. I've never, yeah. I've never heard of them, but uh, uh, the designs they chose for the uh, their Mini Tempests are very, very cool. Not as cool as the Knife Nuts Edition, but you know <laughs> what can be. But they oh, are very, very cool. I know, I know vaguely who these people are. I mean, I'm sure Brian knows who they are. Um, yeah, Brian. Uh, well, obviously. <laughs> But they bought up, uh, let me share so that our viewers can see. Um, sure. uh, our, they bought up the remaining Mass Drop stock. Remember when Mass Drop was, was really was getting heavily thinking, into the knives and then I, pulled right I now out of that business? I now know exactly who they are. Yep. So they are, uh, they are the people who bought all those. those uh, oh, look at that. Sharp by Design right on the folding knives. That's the thumbnail. Um here we go, Mini Tempest. These are great. So they, I, I knew them from that, but I didn't, uh, did not know them from doing other things. Oh, that's cool. I kind of want to get one. I've never seen. So I saw Brian posting about these. I had never seen this carbon fiber before. Oh, was, really? I'm sure people are using it. I'm sure this is the new hot thing, and I'm out of the loop. The first but, time I saw it was on a heretic knife. It's really okay. That that checks out. I could see it's very. Those are loud, loud knives, and this is a very loud and carbon it's, fiber. I think it's black light reactive. Is it really? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah. look at this. They did a whole sort of thing. Oh, I forgot. This is the one. This is the person who paid to have a flipper version made. Yes. Okay. Well, there, therein lies the uh, another element of the appeal here is that these. Yeah, that's right. There's a flipper. standard flipper version. Yeah. That I think is. I, these have been oh. a pretty quiet drop. So I think people are just unaware of the fact that they exist. Uh, yeah, and they're available now. I um, I don't know. I, I Maybe things are slowing down in the knife world. I could be totally wrong. Um, I think it's just economically uh, Yeah, it's, it's 
Um, yeah, I, it has been a while. I, I looked back at 2023. It was probably the least active I've been as a sort of knife collector. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the money. Oh, that is the wrong thing. Uh, I got to pull that one out. Um, I have looked at the money I spent on knives and I bought like three knives in 2023. Mm. Uh, and they were all really expensive ones. So that's why, I, well, they were, they were expensive. So, yeah, I can imagine that, you know, having to pick one of these up every week or something is not a lot of people yeah. afford that these days. Even for, even, I mean, I haven't bought too many either. So, yeah, last year was definitely the slowest. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, if you're, if you missed out on the Tempest drop, here's your chance to grab one in a ridiculously cool uh, carbon fiber colorway. Yeah. I said colorway. Uh, I hate saying colorway. Dark matter black. That's interesting. So is it just oh, it's got a, it's more than just marble carbon fiber, I'm guessing. It's swirly twirly carbon fiber. It is yeah. marble carbon fiber. Neat. Well it's it's a lot more restrained. And then whatever shipwreck is the other one somewhere in mm -hmm. here. I, nope. I like the shipwreck one too. Um yeah, I don't see any photos of it, but I'm sure there we go. It was there. This one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, the 80s one is really doing it for me. I think it's I think it's silly. I like it. Yeah, I like nice. it, too. I would probably go for the standard flipper just for variety sake. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I, um, I, already, I mean, we, we we probably both already have at least too many Tempests. I have the, the, the KMP version. I have one. I have one. One of the original. OK, I have I have both the regular production run and the KMP one. Well, la di da. <laughs> That's a, it's very rare for me to have more knives than you in at least one uh, capacity. I I really need to um, slim down the knives <laughs> and myself for that matter. But that's beside the point. Um, but yeah, check out these these mini mini tempests. Nice. Uh, the other thing I want to announce, um, I talked about it a little bit last month, but I'm continuing my partnership with Ivan Braganitz and my second exclusive will be uh is ordered and on the way to me it is a knife nuts edition version of the buran which is really nice. cool um let me see if i can show you i didn't I, I will give you guys a preview using only the pictures on my phone only the most advanced technology yes exactly bear with me one moment but I am pretty excited about their existence. So you'll have that swirly twirly carbon fiber, that GTC interlock on one the and the carbon fiber on one end, the titanium on the other, with obviously some really sick purple accents. Nice. And these are individually numbered, and there are only fifty of them. The original ones uh, sold out pretty fast, right? Oh yeah, they, they are imported? gone. Yeah, they're gone, gone. So. I did this mainly because I know there was a lot of people that wanted to get their hands on one of these guys, but here they are going through their quality check. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting these in hand. Um, mm -hmm. They're going to be pretty damn cool. Um, no word. I'm still working, figuring out what pricing is going to be and when they will be available, but it's, it's happening. They're on their way. Nice. All right. Shall we it's always nice to be some... able to, to announce a knife when they are available. I was yeah. so excited for uh, Joseph Vero's new knife, the Lux. And then I was yeah. like, this is a six to nine month pre-order. And I was like, fuck, come on. I like, I know it, it's made by Riot. That's like, that's, it, it is what it is. But I was like, yeah, mm, ah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, that, I think for new models, that's something people have to do because yeah. it, it does take a longer time to get set up. Um, for tooling and stuff like that. So True. it does look really good though. I do like Ugh, that. It is the most beautiful knife I've seen in a long time. I love that thing, but I was like, yeah, I don't, I, I think I'm going to hold <laughs> off on the pre-order and just buy it when it becomes available. It's like a $30 discount. I think I can swing the $30 in nine months from now. <laughs> the, yeah. I'm sure I'll pick difference. one of those up too. Yeah. Well, Dave, how do you want to do this? Shall we go down the list of large manufacturers? Um, uh, I want to definitely check out ProTech because they had some some of the most popular releases of Shot Show, in my opinion. Um, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, we, we can we can definitely start with the big ones first because I already have Benchmade pulled up. All right. Um, let's see. Are they actually Benchmades or new knives with with Axis style locks? Oh God. 
don't even i don't i don't want to uh the the the, ex- the expiration of the axis lock uh patent was the death of innovation in the knife world and that's did a you see i made a meme claim. i made a i meme. did see your meme yeah, <laughs> that's a bold claim coming from me, who is a diehard, you know, like frame lock person, which, you know, is objectively pretty boring these days. But I mm-hmm. swear to God, I it just no, it's all anyone is doing is just the, the axis lock. Here's what I will say. Here's what lines. I will say, though. A lot of the ones that I have experienced are far better yeah. than the equivalent bench made. So, yeah, that what is um, it? Uh, the, the goat XL was that yeah. Alone knives? Yeah, that was one of my favorite knives of last year, too. And he's got a, a V2 of that coming out, too. So we'll talk about that. on That show. one is shockingly. Yeah, that one really made me question my hatred for access lock style knives. Mm-hmm. But goddamn, are they everywhere? Uh, so <laughs> I wow. guess the theme this year for Benchmade is water. <laughs> Why does it look like the reload album cover of a load album cover? I like this. It's like a I don't know if this. Oh, wait, I'm just seeing things. I was going to say this, this like sort of water formation looks like an angler fish that's about to swallow this small oh fish. i see it i but see I it i think I it is it. just splashing it. water it is yeah. okay anyway <laughs> yes dear valued retail partner um yeah, get to the knives get to the knives oh god okay what's what's new here Christ. uh n- none of that no this is all old old okay maybe i can find a better thing than this catalog because this is just the retailer cat okay uh this is new oh, the, <laughs> the, the valleys yeah necron sounds um, more like a like a like an arcane design knife the, the uh, yeah given the name adjustable <laughs> tungsten weights and extendable handles uh okay i need to see how these extendable handles are gonna work but i assume this is gonna feel very chintzy it's I, a shame I, because you know this is literally going back to their roots yeah. so yeah, I, I, the adjustable weights remind me. I had a gaming mouse in like the early 2000s that had an interchangeable weight set and I had little tungsten I remember weights those. so you could. Yeah, it was a Logitech mouse. That's what that reminds me of. Mm. All right, so well, you could be really good at Counter Strike. Yeah, I still wasn't. <laughs> still, still bad at it. Um, let's see. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this is like it. This is the, the water. The, they splash on your bitch with the water, I guess. Um, cool. I do like how Magna Cut has a, has a replaced like every other steel as the like sort of rust proof steel, highly rust resistant. Mm. I have not used Magna Cut enough to be able. To, well, I, I don't have enough knives that have ever rusted to begin with uh, to be able to make any claims about that. But I guess the science is there, so that's neat. But it's certainly better than I don't know the whatever they used to, for the salt series, uh, the H one, the H one. I ne- I never minded H one. Yeah, I mean, it's like one of those things. I guess if you EDC it every day and it's your only knife, it'll dull pretty quickly. But like as a novelty, sure, H1 was fine. LC200N mm-hmm. was better, but. <laughs> All right, so I get, I, I get this is a, a new folder. Mm-hmm. And it just is an Adamus that they slightly changed. It looks Real... like it has a more of like a like a Griptilian blade. That. Yeah, it, it's got the same blade shape as the Griptilian. Um, this is the same size as the regular Domus four inch blade, mm. uh, five inch close. Uh, I guess the blue is kind of a neat color, like a slate blue. That's kind yeah. of unusual, but like, wow, they made another Adamus. Amazing. I, I don't know about this one. Yeah, and th- that's it. Maybe Hooray, more, we're done. Oh. <laughs> maybe they'll have more blade. But um, I think the the big companies have kind of stagnated, and they're just. I do like that knife still. The the tag out. Yeah, the tag out is awesome. I yeah. would totally I like get this version if it was Magna Cut instead of this version. I, which is Magna I Cut. would I would definitely get the orange bladed one. Yeah, it's a it's a little too wacky for me, but perfect for Halloween. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like they're releasing small changes to all of their knives and. It, it's it's not worse than ZT in that sense, but there's, um, there's nothing else I was, here. I was uh, getting my truck serviced, and um, the the guy that does it um, is a Knife Nuts fan, and oh. yeah, which was really weird, but uh, very nice. Um, he asked me if Benchmade's eighteen hundred dollar kitchen knives were worth it. 
<laughs> I never had such an unequivocal, unequivocal no to a, a question in my in my life. This is new, isn't it? Yeah. So this is new. I think this actually looks very cool. I don't know if the mechanism is great or like you know anything else about it, but uh, aesthetically, I think the claymore is actually a pretty good looking OTF. Mm -hmm. Is it aluminum? What's the what's the Griv uh... oh some nice grivery for you? Uh, okay. See now the OTF world is also getting turned upside down. Um, oh yeah. With Microtech basically slash and burning their entire product line for the most part. Wait, what did I miss there? Oh. I mean, I, they're everything. releasing a bunch of new stuff. I saw like the mini Hera and I can't keep track because they're all sort of slight variations on each other. So I don't Jeremiah. know. Yeah, Jeremiah will will know more about this, but uh, uh, it's definitely um, looks like they're replacing almost every knife in their in their catalog. Whoa. All the OTFs, at least. So. Interesting. You know, yeah, I didn't I mean, think you, that Microtech was hurting, but maybe they just wanted to do something new. I think the entire industry is hurting. And oh, sure, maybe, but... and the, the other side of it is, is that how do you make that many knives and keep making that many skews? Like, yeah, there's the... at some point, at some point you have to consolidate, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's the, the amount of skews is what is what is insane to me uh, with some of these brands. Uh, Benchmade on their website or one of their emails recently, I noticed, said that they make a million blades a year. Uh, you know, that's not a million knives because they have extras, but like, god damn, yeah. a million, they're pumping out a million of these things across all these kind things. Kind of, that kind of makes a lot of sense when you yeah. when it comes to the, I will the quality say, of said blade. Unless you're a, a plastic-pilled Benchmade queen, uh, a $400, well, it's not going to be $400, but close to $400, OTF with Grivery? Not feeling that. These will be the star of the gun show. Oh, absolutely. There's Especially with these useless little bit of serrations. They went and they kind of ran out of money for uh, Jeff uh, or for Vef uh, yeah, to, what, to serrate what these. The, what the hell are you supposed to do with those? Just a couple, just a couple serrates. Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't they couldn't afford the full Vef serration package. I mean, no, how much was like know. it was like ten dollar per serrate. Last I that checked. Doesn't... That doesn't make any sense. You know, and that's probably... God, I didn't think they had so many OTFs. Mm. The bloat on the catalogs is just getting so intense. The product lines are getting... All right, that's probably it for new stuff. There we go. Good. All right, Benchmade. Get out of Benchmade. They that's will... another one in the books. All right. Oh, splash on your bitch with the water. Let's see, did ZT have anything? Um, ZT did announce a new model, I think, just before. Um, yeah, let's HL. see. And yet again, I think Kershaw actually has some good new ones too. I agree. Um, let me just bring this up. New. Okay, yeah, no, ZT just has that one knife, the o the o five four five, the the slim one. Never mind. Okay, let's go to Kershaw. Kershaw. Yeah, I remember that they have some. Okay, yes, I recall this. Uh, ah. The and we're starting with the Benchmade. The Benchmade bug out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kershaw was like, ah, shit, everybody is buying these Benchmade bug outs. What should we do? Uh, let's just copy their homework. Mm. I mean, they even did the fake access lock thing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I mean, it's technically a genuine access lock. So That's true. I mean, it, it, yeah, of course they made this. The, the, the Benchmade bug out is like transcending just absolutely transcending from the knife world to just i don't know general it's running people it's running knives. on ball it's running on ball bearings too that's wacky yeah someone's gonna cut their thumb off with that i mean it's mm. it's magna cut it's made in the usa for 200 dollars. i'd probably rather have this than a bench made to be honest i trust kershaw's production quality a little bit more i gotta tell you i'm kind of sick of the magna cut uh, you know, as someone who just does not use a knife, <laughs> use knives enough to really care about blade steels, I'm just going to say it's fine. It's probably like yeah. a net gain compared to using S35 or something. So, But is it a net gain when comparing it to like S30? <laughs> oh, sure. I yeah, it depends. On I don't know. In terms of edge retention, I think it's it's slightly worse probably. than S30. Probably. Yeah. But yeah. we've continuously been moving towards easier to sharpen and more tough for some reason. Sure. 
I, I mean, uh, that's not a bad knife. I like it. What else? They yeah, got? I will. Did you happen to see the YouTube video of the designer uh, talking about it? It looks like a a little bit like a hostage video. What? K Kershaw put out a video with an interview with one of their designers um, on their YouTube page. All right. I, I guess I'll take my glasses off for this. Yeah, let me see if I can find this. Why is this? This should be easy to find. No, apparently I am imagining things with this. Uh, all right. Well, I will I will find this, but it was Let's in circle one of the back. emails. <laughs> yeah. We will circle back. Um and touch base. I, yeah, I just saw a uh let's see. I just saw a Wrangle Star video titled The Worst Knife I've Ever Carried about the Benchmade Bug Out, so that's a cool. <laughs> um yeah, so what else has Kershaw done? The launch I like that. Thing, I like this little thing. Mm. Is it little? It's pretty little, if I remember correctly. It looks yeah, like something non-knife related, and I can't really put my finger on it. Yeah, it's it's. I like it, though. It's good looking. I, I do like it. Um, what is the handle made out of? Uh, okay, black anodized aluminum earth brown G10. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah, I like it. I, I bet I would like it more if it was one color, but... I would have liked it more if they finished the other side. <laughs> yeah, they probably should have done the inserts on the other side, too. Yeah, why... What's These the things... point? Okay, so have... Is this 223s? Uh, let me see what the, the the MSRP... Or what the retail price is for this, because 223 is a pretty big price jump from what it used to be. Yeah, 170. Mm. Okay, so these are sort of in line with the other... That's a good yeah, knife. Good price. Yeah, they're they're great. I think that I think they're sort of underrated. I agree. Um. All right. What else? Live. Okay. There. OTF in carbon fiber. Oh, nice carbon fiber. The live wire is excellent. It and really it's it's Diskin. Matt 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 yeah. Dixon. Dixkin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Matt. Matt Dixkin. Um. Designed, Some people so. thought I actually was I. I actually thought that was his name. <laughs> People are like, it's Diskin, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Uh, double edge version. Pretty cool. I mean, I would I, I would probably take this over the Benchmade, uh, any of the Benchmades. Uh, but not, I, it's not even a contest. It's okay, not, yeah. They're not even in the same league. I've handled some of the Benchmade OTFs. I've never handled any of these OTF, uh, Kershaw's OTFs, so I have no idea if it's like... Did I not bring it? To you the last time? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I have handled Livewire. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the rest is just sort of like the the Chinese knives. <laughs> so right. we can basically just well, skip, skip that. Any, skip any of these, although... Um, the layup? God. Not, a, not, not, a, not an amazing name, but... Um, uh, it's just... How do they name these things? Is it just... Uh, I, I still like hate throwing they do darts this. at a dictionary or something. C country of origin, USA. Then it's a design prototype, quality control, China manufacture. Just, just My say God. it's made in China. Just dude. say it's made in China. Yeah. Right, like you, you're you're barely fooling people. Um, Very silly. I, I I don't need the full provenance of the knife. They're doing like linguistical gymnastics so that yeah. you see USA first. I mean, they make good knives in the U.S. Like, just be like, yeah, these are, and our cheap ones are made in China. Man, that's a Cabela's special if I ever saw one. Yeah, when you see a lock bar cut out that yeah. you can drive a truck through, yeah, that's when you that. know it's going straight to Cabela's. Yeah, or Walmart it's, even. Ooh, someone's gonna love that at Walmart. Yeah, but I don't know. Not the worst eight CR. I don't know. They couldn't no, even I mean, bro it, giving us some D two these days. It, it's fine looking. Yes. Yeah, that's probably a good way. To it's called it. the scour. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. All right. So I, I comparatively a pretty decent year, I suppose, for Kershaw so far. Yeah, I, uh, I at least they're doubling down on the stuff that they do well, like uh, like that live wire was a revelation for them. And I think that they have some something very special there. Yeah. And that's one of the neat things where they manufacture it in America. So theoretically, they should have an advantage over uh, illegally importing them from China, like other companies are doing. Correct. <laughs> uh, but continuing on. Yes. Who else? Who 
else should we do? The Spider Co. Did they show anything? Oh Christ, yeah, Spider Co. The last, the last one I pay attention to. All right, I feel like I am being gaslit though because I cannot find <laughs> any evidence of this <laughs> video of uh, an interview with the Kershaw Bel Air designer. Apparently, I am oh. just a crazy person. So that's great. Um, yeah, let's see. It's, Spider Co. Traditionally does not have. Uh, oh, a new mule. Budget. Wow. Yeah, um, I believe this is their last product reveal. Bodacious. I don't know if we already talked about this last product reveal or not. I don't. I don't think we did. They, they're is they're that... it, they're not. There's nothing really new here. It's just a big shaman. Is it a big Maybe. shaman? Because the shaman's big. I mean, I guess it's not a big. It's a big version of Medium some other size knife. shaman. Which the, yeah, the, the shaman is already a big native. So. Yeah. <laughs> So this is, I don't know, is slicing the bologna ever thinner. Uh, mm. Cool. One sausage, three lengths. Exactly. Um, in Yeah, I think everything is just... I mean, the military too is cool. That's already been out. That's nothing. No. Nothing we haven't covered before. And it's... Yeah. Variations on the theme. Oh, I mm -hmm. did see this. Oh, wait. The... The What's the spy Mito? Oh spy. no, is that an Italian one? This is I genuinely the handle from uh, the uh, Lion Steel. Oh God, what one? Inspired by the Lion Steel Mito. Is that the one with the uh, removable flipper? I think yes. it is. And so they still they've make done this that thing. That thing where who the hell? I still cannot understand that knife. You know what? I feel like my knife should be a thumb stud today, and they go in with their little Allen key or whatever and manually remove the flipper and then like lose that i don't know i don't understand <laughs> it was for Europe. what the point it was so like you can make it into a non to one hand openable knife a knife but it's like a i wonder how many europeans are out there real that really bought this and then took the flipper off like when i don't know when they think you know, they get stopped by the police here's here's the thing the person who buys a 315 euro knife has more than one knife yes yeah, especially this is not someone who's buying one knife and being done with it. Yeah, especially you know? yeah, three hundred fifteen euros on a knife uh, is a lot of money in Europe. That's a lot, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like so. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I think what we're noticing, and someone said in the chat, like Spider, what has Spider Co released that's new in the last five years? You can tell that the sort of economic stagnation right now because nobody is coming out with any like is tooling up new knives. It's all just. I blame the legalization of recreational drugs. <laughs> okay. I like that one. Mm. Um, but yeah, they did this. Didn't they have that one lion steal? It was the, and Spider Co collaboration before that was the, the lion, lion spy. The lion spy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they, they also had, yeah, the, this is the, the big dog. And then they had the mini lion spy or the, the little <laughs> lion spy as they called it. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, it was the it was the Lion Steel SR1 with a Spyderco blade. Um, this just kind of looks worse than the regular version because they added the opening hole. <laughs> like this but is actually. Can you still take Can you still take the flipper off? Let's see, removable flipper. Wow. Honestly, if you just this is a good looking knife. If you just cut right there, just cut off the opening hole. It already um, is available on the other site. Yeah, let's. Okay, they actually, it's not really. Um, crazy marked up or anything no $230. I just meant, if you want one without the, the the thumb hole you just buy a regular line steel one <laughs> exactly and then you're disappointed because it feels like garbage when it arrives yeah m398 oh, that's kind of neat but um yeah i don't know i don't I, I i feel like i haven't heard of anything new from from line steel in a while but that's i guess you know let's say they have do they have like a new page Oh, that looks new. I don't know what that this looks, is. I like the way that looks. Yeah. Does it come with the snake? <laughs> um, the website is how about, C how it's about CRK? Here we go. How about CR? Oh, yeah. Look at that. No, it doesn't look as good as I thought. It um, looks okay, but the fact that the lock bar cut out is still as <laughs> wide. <laughs> Removable flipper. Oh, my God. Oh, it's it's an integral though. Um, I guess that's kind of neat. That's their thing. But 
the f- that's the kind yeah. of knife you buy and you're like wow this is nice and then you absolutely lose interest in it half an hour after owning it it is magna cut so oh there well, we go stop the presses yeah so I don't yeah, I don't know. I was gonna say something about the lock bar cutout being very wide, but perhaps that's because it's an integral and I had to do that some for that reason. But uh, design wise I don't really have a problem with it. Yeah, it's fine. And let's see how much it costs. How is how is this only fifteen euro more than the than the What's the what's Mito different about we were it? Just looking. This is an integral though. Right? Mm. Is it an integral? Sure looks like one. Yeah, solid ma- manufactured with solid technology. I don't know. Maybe they've been doing that long enough to where they have the, uh, you know, it's going to have lock rock anyway. So they're just yeah. pumping them out. This looks substantially worse in aluminum. Mm. I will say that this, this red one, if we could find a picture. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. That boy is really given a really uh, serving gas station knife. It's probably worth the extra hundred euro to just step up to the the um the titanium. Yeah, for sure. Hundred and or just right. don't buy a different knife. How about that? Yeah, there we go. There's a solution. Um CRKT. All right, let's do it. That is not how you spell CRKT. There we go. Oh, new 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 site. Oh yeah, they did they did release a new website, which is uh, substantially cleaner looking. I like the neutral the neutral colors, but um, let's see. It has um, an aspect ratio of a website from two thousand and two. You can tell you can tell it's very mobile optimized. This is clearly meant mm. to be looked at on a phone. <laughs> mm. All right, Ken Stegerwalt, M three ninety dark matter carbon fi- fat carbon. What? That's oh, gonna be made in Italy, isn't it? Oh, these sons of bitches! Is this made by Lion Steel? I can't tell. Please be China. Please be China. Please be China. <laughs> Enhance. Enhance. Oh no! It's just says Stegerwald design there. Yes, please be made in China. Although, like we always say, they do decent uh, slip joints in. Uh, yes. Is it a slip yeah, joint? It is a slip like, joint, right? Yeah, the Lion Steel slip joints are are, are pretty good. So. The price is nice. Yeah, this is 175 and that's We also love Ken, MSRP. So buy this knife. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Nice. If it doesn't tell you where it's made, it's probably China. Exactly. So but honestly, probably probably better. It doesn't look uh, bad. I yeah, like it. That's awesome. Uh Padawan. Oh my god. Well, shout out to Pedro. I oh, like the first line. First it's design. like, why is this called a Padawan? <laughs> That's the first line. <laughs> oh, this guy was F- Flavio I- Icoma's uh, okay. apprentice. You can kind of oh, see. Oh, there it. he is. You, yeah, yeah, you can see the inspiration. Yeah. yeah. Not a bad design. Yeah. I don't necessarily like the way it looks, but it's not a bad design as far as a knife goes. Yeah, and they have this. Oh. Two different blade shapes, but different opening. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. All right, it's whatever. Fourteen C twenty eight N. Uh, it's a classic CRKT. Seventy five dollars. Yeah, whatever. Gun show right. knife. Uh, this I have to bring up. I do not like this. <laughs> uh, at, at one bit. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. I would not... say it's good for spreading butter on toast, but then you have that fuller, which is like a butter collector. Yeah, I just am not into anything Daryl Kasten does, unfortunately. No. Just, this this aesthetic, not for me. No, That's not, not, not even, at all. Don't even Which, give it any more screen time. It was funny. So, so I have I haven't been paying attention to knives very much, but so like my ho- hobbies have slightly shifted. I've started watching YouTube reviewers who review like uh heritage clothes like boots and and well-made jackets and stuff and one of the they these people invariably are somewhat interested in knives but they're always interested in the worst knives worst knives. They, get, they get caught up in the lifestyle brand and there's a, there's mm-hmm. a great guy on youtube carl mirowski and he mentioned the minimal x and i was just like jesus christ i have to leave a comment 
I need to. I need to warn you. When when side. non knife enthusiasts start talking about knives, it's, it's bad. bad news, dude. It yeah. always ends up with the James brand. It's like and, almost and a joke. Always, yeah. Dude, it is. He it's so this guy, yeah. He's a, he's a blue collar worker. He's got a great YouTube video about a YouTube channel about boots and and heritage jackets and all this shit and like. Raw you don't see me things. talking about boots and it's James brand. And he was you like, "Oh, me- look at this neat, nice knife. It's a James brand. It's three hundred dollars. That seems good." <laughs> no. Don't do it. I did get some Bruno Maglis on sale just before the holidays. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's fancy. Okay, this must be... Oh, it's not... Let's see. Is this a Ken Stegerwald? Yep. This is very nice. Like Good night. Right? It might be... Oh, it's G10 at least. I was worried that would be mm-hmm. plastic or like a Griffery or something, but... Oh, and it's Mac. No, that's cool. And it's made <gasps> in the USA? Who Who is doing their OEM work that this is made in the USA? I don't know. They had a couple. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 Hogue, isn't it? I think it is. Um, But they had a couple other ones they did with uh, the crossbar lock and they were pretty decent. The designs were a little funky. Is Jeremiah still in the chat? Um, Yeah, look look at me being where where he's the one who showed it to me. Says literally right there, Hogue knives. (laughs) I'm a dummy. Hey, I like that they're transparent about that. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. I mean, Play it up if you got if you got an OEM that can make you USA made knives. I'm just a Ken Steigerwalt fan. So. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is awesome, and it's 225 of retail. So if if anybody watching this hasn't seen Ken's custom work, you owe it to yourself to do so because it is some beautiful, beautiful uh, slip joints. Um, mostly slip joints, mostly yeah. traditionals or autos and autos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is he? But amazing work. Is CRKT doing map pricing or do they sell stuff on their website for like retail? That's interesting. That's probably map pricing. Yeah. Um, speaking of Ken, he will be at the New York Custom Knife Show in March. Mm. Um, I plan on going. Do you want to? Are you? Absolutely. I'll be there. Yeah. It's at the end of March, I think. Yeah. Um, I'll be 40 years old then. <laughs> wild. All right, so we can yeah. we can both stay for an hour and then leave. Uh, and then Maybe we'll, we'll just go up. It should be like, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. The other thing, show wise, I want to talk about the Lehigh Valley Custom Knife Show, which is actually Lehigh Valley Knife Show, I should say, mm-hmm. which is going through a little bit of a metamorphosis. I'm being a lot more involved with that. Um, so what I want to let everybody know is is that um, it's a small show, but you you can get a table for a hundred bucks, right? So if you're a, a if you're a collector, not even a knife maker, right? If you're a collector with a large collection that maybe wants to slim it down, maybe do some trading, um, that kind of thing, that is an excellent venue for that sort of thing. You can bring uh, all your knives and display your wares, meet other enthusiasts, um, and it just becomes a much more personal, um, you know, experience. Uh, I think that is a great way to, if even if you're a, a budding uh, dealer, you know, get into a show like the Lehigh Valley Show, which is in April. You can go to PA Knife Show, PA Knife Shows dot com, and you can register for that. Um, obviously, I'll be there. Um, I know Brian always gets a table, so he'll be there as well. And we've had a lot of fun with it uh, recently. A lot of great makers. Ken's usually shows up to that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, really, really great makers were at the last one too. And you can get some great deals on things. I always leave there with some sort of hidden treasure. So, uh, look it up. If you're a collector, maybe get a table or just come hang out, you know? Yeah. Um, it's about an hour away from Philadelphia. I would say like what? 30, 40 minutes out from, from Philadelphia proper. So, yeah. you know, you can make a weekend out of it, make a week out of it, whatever you want to do. There's there's group rates on on mm-hmm. the hotels, which mm-hmm. I imagine are very cheap in s- sort of central Pennsylvania. Cer- certainly affordable. 100%. Yeah. It's nice. a really historical era area too, so like very old school Pennsylvania. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, and you already have the the, the list of people. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Nice. And that's growing all the time, so. Nice. A good amount of people. Yep. For a rel- what used to be a relatively small show. Yeah, and Whoa. we have plans to make it bigger, so 
come now while it's still a little tiny show um and uh come hang out it might be more than the the new york show actually in terms of vendors i could be wrong but uh it's nice. very close in size to the new york show now. Uh, yeah <laughs> yeah it's certainly in a larger room <laughs> yeah well that'll help oh god yeah the the new york right. show is getting a bit claustrophobic especially well i don't think i don't think vero will be there this year at the new york show so i think attendance might be down quite a bit uh, in terms of uh, people, because they were crowding him. Someone just asked me if I would be at New York. I can't remember who. who Jeremiah was. is telling us we need to be there. I mean, I I planned. I planned to be. Oh, there. we're going. We're going for yeah. sure. Yeah, and I, we can make Brian go. Jake. Last last year, I got there in like an hour and a half, maybe not even. Yeah. I had like no traffic. Got in, got out, no problem. Yeah. I, I mean, I'll probably be coming from up from Pennsylvania that time. It's just easier then. Oh yeah. Then, uh, so I'll, I'll that's if, what I'll if you're in, if you end up here, we'll just ride up together. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we got here. The home front compact. Okay, this is just a smaller version of Snipe already existed. DLC. Eh, Not horrible. Five yen. Whatever. Um, this is new. An automatic. Also made in the USA, so who is this? Well, it has Hogue, to be probably. It has to be Dave. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it does not specifically say who makes it, but I'm going to assume probably Hogue again. Um, it's Unless... fine. Yeah, it's scale release. Scale release automatics are cool. Uh, JG10, I do like the scale release. Kind of always cool. Um, yeah. Magna Cut? Oh, surprise! It's Magna Cut! Yeah. I mean, you know what? The hype behind Magna Cut does make things much easier for knife companies. I'll give them that. Now they could just buy it in massive bulk, and they don't have to worry I about feel, using any well, other the problem steel. is, I feel... Here's my problem, though. I feel like uh, a lot of these makers almost feel obligated to use it. Oh, sure. Of course. Yeah, because it's... it's regardless, of its, regardless of its performance or quality. Yeah. So... I, I have thoughts. But, uh, I mean, I hope there's some sort of uh, like licensing deal or some kind of royalties that that. Uh, oh God, why am I blanking on his name? The guy who designed Lauren Thomas. Lauren Thomas, thank you. I hope he gets some kind oh, no. of royalties on it. Oh no, he, oh, are you kidding me? That dude's eating good. Interesting. I, I was gonna say I, I don't know if he has a relationship with uh, Crucible, uh, mm -hmm. but they they certainly owe him some money. Um, yeah, another little USA auto. I did, and I doubt it's ProTech making these, so. Yeah, maybe Hogue. I don't know. It's, it's cool. It's a little it's chode. Fine. Little, yeah. little California chode. 1.68 inch blade. Yeah, I mean, it is impossible to evaluate knives these tiny, because, like, what? It's just, it is what it is. It's a tiny little. You want to open, you want to open a box with something yeah. heavier than a box cutter? <laughs> Go for it. I am not opening the bear. I am not clicking on the bear claw. We we already can see what's happening here. Just don't do it. Uh, That's something you would see in an, in some sort of boot reviewer's uh, hands. <laughs> I uh, the, the 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 provoke reminds me. I need to give you back the uh, the Riot oh, the, yeah. transforming the XO thing. I understand I, the appeal. I have I have one of those. I have one of those too. I understand the appeal. They're fun. They're basically yeah. just toys where you can hurt yourself. Um, Correct. That's what makes it more fun. Okay, so the I'm going to the Drifter injury. liner lock because that's just a model they've had forever. Um, here we go. Ken, oh, I was not going to guess this was Ken Onion. I was going to guess that it was uh, yeah. Rogers. It looks exactly like it. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. It's assisted, too. Oh, uh, of course. I saw, the, hundred, <laughs> I saw the $195 Funyan. price point. No. Damn, Ken Funyan. <laughs> Oof. Um... Yeah, I don't know. This this just just looks like a like a Rogers. Knife. It's good to see CRKT CRKT working with some new young designers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one way to put it. Uh, yeah, they do they do tend to branch out, but man, do they stick with uh, what they know. Okay, so, so okay, here so go. here's the CEO. This is this is a Richard Rogers one. Yeah, so here's the Richard. Yeah, that's the tiny one though. That's the small one. Yes, I uh, rather dislike this handle. Okay, so we have the CEO, and then we have the stylus. Really a lot of differentiation of the products here. 
Oh. I don't know about this. The, that's the those kind of knives. Those kind of knives sell though. Like people like those. Yeah. Uh, okay. Some of these. Oh, hundred seventy. Anyone where the price is high, I'm interested because I want to see what they're doing at the premium level or whatever. I like the way that looks, kind of. Yeah, it's kind of a nice design. And uses it's IGBS. A... It's not assisted. Milled clip. Is that a milled clip, or does it just have standoffs? No, I think it's milled. I see it. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, he looks happy. Oh, it's Lurch. Yeah. He's looking very Lurchy. Yeah, he's uh does not look particularly enthused in that photo. He went to the hip hop school of promotional photography where you don't <laughs> smile. Mug. Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh yeah, I don't mind that one at all. I think it's pretty I don't know, it's smaller than I thought. For some reason it looks like a big knife to me. Pretty small. Ah, 2.5 it's pounds. a two thousand two thousand fifteen knife. It's S thirty five VN. Hey. It's a step in the right direction. This... The Ibis. I really like this color G tag. I I love that. I like that design. I like all of this. So I think this is a. Uh, oh, it's a, Burnley. Yeah, I thought it was a Luke Burnley. Oh, Ooh. look! There's a nice warm smile. Yeah, I don't. Does does, does Luke does Burnley he have still a matching? E- Hold up. Does he have an earring that matches that G10? Because it sure looks like it. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. Enhance. Well, oh, there's this. Yeah. Okay. You're not doing a good job. Enhance. No, no, it's just a, some sort of hipster thing. Him for rocking plugs in twenty twenty four. Yeah, I, I don't. Does very he midwest customs? of him. Well, he probably doesn't have to. No, I think he probably. But does good okay. on him for this knife because I really like it. Yeah, this is really great. I like this a lot. And affordable. It's, it is, and it's like compared to the Kershaw. Okay, that's a little more enhanced than I want it to be. At least Ooh, like the collar. frame lock doesn't look that cheap. I mean, like no, the, it, the lock bar cut out is a little more uniform. Proper. Is it and, um is it assisted? Uh I don't believe so. I believe it said IKBS. And 14C 28M. I like a little stainless sandwich. steel. Yeah, stainless steel frame lock. Um, but this has it's very three good... ounces, so it's still light. You know. This has really good budget potential, you know? Yeah. Like, everybody's rocking their Stravivis. I actually like the way this thing looks way more. This is much more interesting to me than just about any Stravivis. I mean, this is... I didn't know this color G10 existed. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it's really neat. And they even do... Like, I'm a telling you, this is going to be the year of G10. Honestly, if you can do cool colors like this, it looks awesome. I think this is great. Mm-hmm. Wow. Shout out to CRKT. It's awesome. Would not have guessed that. <laughs> I mean, they were in the bottom of the barrel a few years ago. Yeah, they're really, I, they're really clawing their way out, though. I really I love would that. For sure, recommend them over. What a is? Lot of wait, Syracuse can you models. click on the ancestor for me? I need to see that down. Not the orca. The orca is horrible. That's just a Whoa. weird looking knife, man. This is this is the kind of bad CRKT that I remember, though, in terms of like the G10 choices. It Multicolor looks, G10 is horrible. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah, it looks a lot like turd to me it looks like a person uh oh, banana slug <laughs> does look like a banana slug uh shout out to uc santa cruz uh but no it uh it looks to me like a um a person who makes a custom maker who makes fixed blades is making their first folder uh and they it's not thick enough for that <laughs> they, they choose a weird g10 color and it's just got like it's sort of a no design design yeah, the blade and the handle have nothing to do with each other. Oh, okay, oh. It's Derek. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. <laughs> that tracks so well. Oh yeah, this my is bad, God. man. Yeah, that's not a good. Horrible look. That's a horrible looking knife. I also really don't like that they said, while the G10 handle has excellent grip and comes in a striking <sighs> pattern that's reminiscent of classic wood or gemstone. No, it just uh, looks bad. Oh, gemstone. Yeah, I see gemstone. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Is, layer G10 is just not good. Terrible. No one no one has made it look good. But we also need to click on the Orca. Uh, yeah, we do. You need to get this I'll to, take... for, to go along with the Pochi. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's really in that I'm a, sort I'm of... I'm afraid it might eat the Pochi. It's really in that sort of... Okay, oh, yeah. Isn't look this guy at, Jim look Hammond? At this, the... Doesn't this, he make yeah. some like super aggressive like militaryish knives? I, I he doesn't look like the aggressive military type, though, does he? Particle separation device. 
<laughs> like, come on. Go from this <laughs> to that. <laughs> that's uh, quite a contrast. This man has range. Mm. Oh, that's in. Okay, let's just ignore that one. But yeah, this is really something. This is. I see what he was going for. He's like, you get a really good grip on it. You don't have enough weird anthropomorphic you can choke animal up for lives. The, you can you can choke up for the detail work. You can definitely you you are basically always choking up for detail work on this thing because it's tiny. Yeah, you have no choice, but it, it's meant for detail work. What is that pocket clip? Where are you clipping that? It's a very little pocket clip. It's kind of cute, but yeah, I don't. Uh, How, what's be, the blade length on it? One point seven nine inches. Oh, it actually is small. Sometimes when you see these kind of things. You're like, that should be a small knife. But then it ends up being with like a three and a half inch blade and it makes imagine, absolutely no sense. Imagine yeah. how horrible this thing would be if it was big. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's only getting points because it's cute. But yeah, if they just, they, they just, up, yeah, they just scale, they do the slider and just make it bigger. Yeah, it would be yeah. terrible. Yeah, we don't need another size of the Orca. Let's see. What else is in here? Uh, there's a dead bull, another dead bull knife, a small one. Oh, is it glow? What's going on here? Is this glowing in the dark or it just no, multiple it's, colors? It's... Of G- huh? This doesn't look these 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 two things do not look alike. Uh, so, they do. Uh, but okay, it uses OS ten. Does uh, CRKT just like have like a random steel generator? It, I, I mean, I know OS ten exists, but it's so random. It's made of Epic Snuggle Bunny. <laughs> it is uh yeah this one's interesting i don't know okay um i'm can we i'm done with crkt there i'm they sure we saw so everything many. there's so many Wait, we gotta look at these 400 dollar okay. ken steger these are definitely ken Ooh, steger wall. okay let me see those then yeah okay just just when we thought we were done they pull us back in this is the reich thing oh my god no we gotta keep going oh. no never end? we okay, i had ends. one of those it's end. it ends that's just All a right. different Oh, it's Michael Walker. Yeah. Nice. That is. I like that they're working with that type of designer and offering a high end knife. Interesting. Yeah. That type of maker, I should say. Um, that is. I, I, I don't really want this now that I look at it. I'm going to do it. A... But it's cool. You look into that. I'm going to do a quick intermission. I have to urinate. <laughs> OK, I, ch- I chugged a coffee before this. Uh, yeah, that was probably not the right choice. I'll do I didn't pro- tell you about my spider bite either. <laughs> Wait, yeah, you gotta talk about the spider bite live. Yes. Um. Yeah, I will. I'll do some. How do work. I? How do I mute this? You just at the bottom it says camera, and I think you could. Just oh, there it, it is. Off. It was yeah. hiding from me. And also mute your microphone so we don't hear you peeing. All right, time to do some crowd work. Let's see if we have any. Anything in the chat? Uh, yeah, we'll go over. Lee, someone asked about Liang Ma's stuff. We'll go over his stuff as well. I think he's using a crossbar lock, which is good for Liang, but sad for me. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, if you have other questions, but I don't know. I uh, am less enthused about this. Uh, it kind of looked fancy when you were looking at it from afar, but then you see it's just kind of a bunch of random little milling made to kind of look like an art knife. I don't know. It's, uh, yeah. I'm not really feeling that one, dog. But let's see, what else? Oh, another Michael Walker design. And this one's made in Italy. Okay, well, that sort of automatically disqualifies it for us. But I guess it's okay. I don't know. Let's see. Three inch blade. Five hundred dollars. Let's let's see what okay. Two seventy five. Alright. That's not too bad, actually. Alright, well it's probably made by Lion Steel or any one of the various Italian makers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pass on that one. And then we'll go to whatever that hell. Okay, so it's Duhar. Oh right, I think I have. To, I think I have uh, said very negative things about Duhar's designs in the past, so I have to stick with that and say I don't like it. But I actually 
sort of re-examination. Kind of like it. I don't know. But okay, I don't like $500 much. Nope. Nope. Let's see. You know what we can do? We can see did Chris Reeve come out with anything new. That's important, guys. While Levon is away, we'll talk about Chris Reeve knives. Ooh. Magna Cut Unum's on. Too bad you'll never find one because they're always out of stock and they sell out absolutely immediately. I have been looking for a new Unumzan for a while and every single time I see them come in stock, they are immediately gone. Uh, so, boy, I would like to have one of these. Maybe I can place a two-year back order or whatever. Let's see. Let's see what they're up to now with ordering direct lead times. Oh, it's just six years, guys. We can wait six years. It's definitely yeah, six years isn't bad. Twenty twenty thirty? We'll get it we'll we'll just yeah, we'll get in twenty thirty. I Good leave celebration. I leave for two minutes and I come back and you're talking about Chris Reeve. That was the joke. Is that you were gone. So I, I mean I think we need to start placing our back orders now, Levon, for the for our six year wait for an Umnumzon to buy it direct. Hmm. No. <laughs> Good for them. I don't know why they even maintain this. They should just do authorized dealers only. All right. Like there's just this just don't even bother. You know, Dave, it's nice to have something to look forward to. That's a good point. 2030, the world's probably gonna be over by then, so we may as well place our our orders in like it's, and a, you're, it's you're, a you're you're locking price. in your amazing 2024 pricing. Yeah. Or, or are you not? Eh, five hundred bucks is not bad for an um I I yeah. I'd pay five hundred for an um on um it's one of the oldest ones i have i need to to get a newer one but yep uh that is wild all right i always forget <laughs> i have i have two crks i didn't even know you had one i have two i always forget you have any um, i have uh um an inkosi and i have a sabenza 20 what's the newest one that the oh the the, the newest one is Sabenza 31. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's the newest one. By new, we're talking about... It's like three or four long? years old now. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, I had, I, it's not new. I had one of those in a different color. Yeah, so when there's already two reviews on here and someone said, is this a reissue of the original 2020 version? Mm -hmm. um, I like how this got three stars for being six ounces, for weighing a lot. That is interesting. I... No, it's not fancy to be it. fair it's very huge oh wow it is it's five oh my god it's five and a half you uh, never five and quarter it? inches uh, closed no i actually liked it i thought this was a reich knife thing i forgot that it was duhara so i had to i had to say that i dislike it can we just I've... talk about duhara's new stuff does he have new stuff oh my goodness in a good way or a bad way it's amazing uh, interesting. Maybe I'm going to have to change my opinion about it. I mean, <laughs> can I not? Okay, well, hold on. Let me open this from where I'm locked into Instagram. All right. Aha. Oh, here we go. Okay, I think I like this. I think I like this more. Keep going. I think they're really cool. They don't look like anything else. Okay, these are definitely more restrained. I mean, I use that word loosely here uh, than than the some of the previous stuff I had seen. But this is they're also yeah. incredibly well made. So go okay, look at yeah, some other ones. Nice. Go look at some of the more wacky ones. All right, that's cool. That is sick. Yeah. That. Yeah, it looks like the inlays are pretty well done, too. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I, I don't know if he does this all by hand, but that would that would check out. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, is it a polished DLC blade, too? It totally is. All right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I take back what I said. I'm into mm -hmm. it. I'm into it now. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Weird rainbow knives. 
That's Extreme, a sick rainbow knife. I would rock that. Extremely gas station-y, but I like it. That's what I like about it. I love when someone takes like a, a gas station design and just does it brilliantly. Wow. Yeah, that is wild. Cool. We still need to go through a couple. Uh, this is we're already an hour and a half in, and we haven't even got to the Chinese. Jesus Christ, are we there? Yes. All right. All right. Oh no, it's All an right. hour. It's an hour. In. I was gonna say. Okay, so we're done with CRKT. Pretty good this year, I guess. That's mm-hmm. that's what we'll say. Yeah. Um, They're on else? a roll. Who else do we have to look at? Doesn't we... Riot had like we Riot? Okay. Um, someone suggested Liang Ma. He's oh, Liang Ma has a few good ones too. Yeah, I did see those. Uh, let's see. The Great American... They're going to be in Harrisburg? Who? Uh, we not... Oh, sorry, you can't... Um, let me share the screen again. Uh, Harrisburg? But, yeah, they're going to be at a show in Harrisburg. The Great Outdoor Show. Great American Outdoor Show. What? <laughs> they'll go wherever they... They'll go wherever they can. What? When is that happening? Uh, let's see. February 3rd through 11th. That's a long time. What? God damn. I guess there's not a lot of else going on in Harrisburg. Uh, did we, maybe I should go to their Instagram, because I think these are only things that are relatively yeah, yeah. Go, coming out go, soon. Or Yeah, IG is the way to go. Yep. All right. Where am I actually logged into Instagram? So I can... All right. How's everybody in the chat doing? I can't see it, so they they are alive potentially. Um, Hello, chat. See. All right. Okay. So yeah. What do we have here? Okay, this looks like Quite mostly stuff that they've shown off before. I all these are yeah, that's useless. Sort of out already. I don't. I don't know if they showed off anything new. Is this the right account? Because they have a million? I think this is the right one. I swear they show new stuff. Maybe? These are all looking very familiar to me. Wait, how about that uh, that one? Yeah, there was there was this one. Not yeah, that, that one. That the hyperactive. Good. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm never going to buy it. Yeah, I, I, I'm just... I do like the way it looks. But there was the one, it almost looks like he... What's his name? God. You know who I'm talking about. Go up to. There's the Tashi Barucho one. The Tashi uh, one, yeah. Yeah, the one, one and only. I actually yeah. like that. And yeah, Tashi's I've... stuff is sort of like, I like, I mean, he, he's a good designer, but he's always been sort of like a one trick kind of pony with the designs. And I feel like that one's at least a little different. Yeah, he has, he for sure has a style. That's the speed liner, mm-hmm. I think, is that, that one. But yeah, the one and only is an integral. It's, uh, I'm sure it's. Incredibly well made. Um, I don't it's a good design. What are the prices on these? Let's find out. I don't think they're too bad. I think PVK had some. Oh, let's find out. Maybe not. I already got that new uh, Kershaw. They do. Ah, here we go. So 400 and... Whew, I guess it's an integral. That's Oh. Oh boy. I mean, that does look quite quite well made, but... That, that is a lot. Maybe I can get Jeremiah to send me one of those to check out. Yeah, they seem nice, but... I just want to see it. Yeah. Um, okay, so nothing really okay. from... Go to uh, Riyadh, then. Riyadh. Yeah, they have, like, the T-1000 thing that yeah. never actually seems to come out. All right. Yeah, there's this one... Oh, this is Hibbit from their Lock new series. More, it's more of a budget line. Yeah, it looks like it's like three quarters of an inch thick. Jesus Christ! Yeah, because it uses that that ridiculous lock thing. Yeah, the pivot thing. Yeah, yeah I mean, some called the Paul Lock. Jesus, I haven't heard about the Paul Lock in a long time. Yeah, it uh, it is that though. Very similar. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's. They're trying to get like some mass appeal with that. It's not a bad design. Uh, uh, is the T one thousand out? Okay, new from your out. Yeah, the that it's the, the same the, knife. Yeah, the, I was wondering, no, the, but the giant titanium one is the one that I know what you're talking about. The robot T six thousand. Jesus Christ! What 
This is why Riyadh is why just stick to OEM stuff, guys. God damn. I, I, I like that. Really? Mm-hmm. Not my style. It's it's, it's stupid. Yeah, I don't you know. You can't when I... unlock it until you push another button. <laughs> I don't know when they transitioned into doing that? this kind of this kind of stuff for their own well, lines. Well, what they are now is they do this to show off their manufacturing press. Yeah, that makes sense. Because this the Riot Tiger is very nice. Like that's and that's weird. that's a what's his face design from uh, Alvin uh, Lee Knives. Yeah, Alvin. He runs uh, Crane's production. That makes sense. Yeah, it is a that's pretty nice. I mean, it's very impressive what they can do with bla- with grinds. But mm. uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not into the. I mean, how about you? Are you going to get your? I mean, the, if, the I, if I if I never if I never see this knife again, it will be too soon. David Deng might be the third richest man in China now because of this thing. Yeah, look at the razor blade ones, which, which will gonna... inevitably. Do you see them? Look at, oh, look, at look at these things. Oh my god. Yeah. He, this he is, is this is this is a boot reviewer knife. This is a this is going to be people are going to buy. This. I think I have a comment on there. Yeah, my comments at the top there. Dude, what's the over under on David Deng being disappeared by the Chinese government for being too successful? Uh, I assume. Gonna, are they going to seize his? They're going to seize his property after this comes out. Probably he's got about six months before he just disappears. Yep, that's my best guess. Mm. All right, Riyadh. Yeah, I mean, there's. Still I, li- nice I like David knives. though. He's a cool guy. Of course, I mean, he like has revolutionized the production knife world I and makes say. it makes a good product for sure. Can't yeah, I mean, well, me. he like basically ushered in the renaissance of Chinese. Well, the renaissance implies that it was good. It was, they were making good. They're knives they're really um, pushing Melissa over here. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta you gotta get those views. Be, I would not want to be a knife influencer. I I can't imagine it pays well. Probably a stressful job. So. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah, good for her. <laughs> because it does not I'm sure I'm good. I'm not speaking for her, just myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Being a knife influencer is not a job I want. Um, who else are we missing? Uh, Leon. Let's see. Leon's got some stuff. He's working on stuff. He's got things. Is this all? Uh, yeah, okay, that's too many at once. Um, yeah, he's got this mini, the min, mini ish cuff. I guess it's like a, or actually, no, it's a regular sized kitchen utility folder. Yeah, kind of neat. No. I like this. I had the bigger one, it was too big, can't go wrong. But, um, then, and then there's an access lock. Yep, yeah, yeah, people, people like them. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, yeah, no. that's pretty good. Yeah, give the people what they want. I mean, I like the design. That's a, that's a good amount of blade. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's 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 yeah, the signature see, on let's these. Let's see this thing. Leon's always good with that proportion. Yeah, the kitchen. I mean, it's a good design. I like it. I I just yeah. I mean, my just natural uh, reluctance to get into crossbar or axis lock knives. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just just not for me. I think that's it that Leon showed. Oh, he and then he has a. Sort of field duty one that also has crossbar lock. Nifty. But nifty. Yeah. All right. Uh, who else are we missing? Mm, oh, Protec. Miss- yes, Protec. You wanted to go over Protec. Uh, Real Steel so- has one knife that still hasn't come out that I really liked that they previewed months ago and never released. <laughs> Which <laughs> one is that? Uh, let me try and find it. It is a. I want to say it's a no-stop held design. It is mm. this one on the top here. No, mm. not the, the one in the middle. The Barlow RB7. Oh, that does look good. It never seems to have come out. Um, but uh, yeah, Protec. So Protec did something that I I was completely blown that's away by. That's not the right Protec. No, diff- that's the wrong Protec. <laughs> Well, um, they gotta work on their SEO, you gotta touch protect knives man yeah um uh, you're probably not gonna see any you're not gonna see anything on their website what's you gotta yeah get i was gonna say what's the deal with this it's not https it's just a ip address i'm gonna go to instagram so anyway the thing that shocked me was a collaboration with dmitry sinkovich oh yeah you have that right uh, I, I wish i had that are you kidding oh, no, me no, it no, just showed... it. go up go up go up go up go up okay good the first one, second row. 
there's some other Sinkovich knife that you have, right? That you were showing off recently. Yeah, but that's a Shirogorov. Yeah, okay. That's this is a Protec. Hey. That, that is, is... A damn good, that is a damn good looking knife. Yeah, I mean, hey, no one's ever said Sinkovich can design a, a knife. Well, um, I, I, I don't love the compound grind, but, it, you know, showing off, I guess. For like showing it. off, like, the design, it works very well. Um, yeah. Grind and Mirror Ball finished by Mike Geary. So they won't yeah. all be like that, obviously. No. I like the compound grind on it, but that's beside the point. Because I'm never going to cut anything with it. Yeah. When are the when are these? I'm uh, Relatively mm, sooner. Are they going to do a production version? I'm sure. Nice. That is that is very nice. This yeah. is technically production. Oh, yeah. I mean, but this is like the custom sure. version of their production or whatever. Yeah. I know what you mean. Very nice. I like it. That's and the other thing is the one that the, re- the reviewers are going absolutely bonkers for. And what is that? It is the button lock TR3. First row, oh. third one in. Oh, I remember. Oh God, There used to be so few made in the USA um, frame locks that I remember when they made the frame lock version of this. And people were always like, is this a good Sabenza alternative? Is this a good Sabenza alternative? <laughs> Because it was like, I don't know, $100 cheaper. And people were constantly asking about that. And they just kind of disappeared. This knife is going to sell like hotcakes. I, so I, you know what? I am all for the button lock uh, obsession that has happened lately. I Mm -hmm. much prefer it over the crossbar lock. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Use the same perfectly tuned button lock detent system. That's exactly what we want to hear. Because... Uh, adding detents to knives that don't naturally have detents are a good idea. Does it have a thumb stand on both sides or just one? No, it's just one side, like the original TR3, I believe. Hmm. Frame lock. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I am very excited for that. That's great. Yeah, because they have the Malibu, which people went bananas for. Um, but now they have... Yeah. People still go bananas for them. Still from... Yeah. Yes! Nice. And for the Mordex... The more, ah, yeah. Uh, you remember the first knife I ever I bought from you when we at that meetup in the King of Prussia Mall? It was at mm. a restaurant there. I bought a, a Ferrum Forge Mordax from you. It wasn't. It, oh, really? Was that? A, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was at some at restaurant the, at the King of Prussia Mall. Yeah, the Fox and the Hound or whatever. That place yeah. is closed. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I'm guessing that's gone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cool. Is that is that all Protec showed off as the, uh, the Sinkovich and the... Two very heavy hitters in my opinion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What else do they need to show off? Mm-hmm. So Protec is one of the most interesting sort of comeback stories. Con- con- continued growth. Yes. You're yeah. not kidding. I feel like they got to work on their website, though. Yeah, well. Yeah. Jeez, guys. Who needs a website anyway? I mean, look at all the interaction they're getting on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, nine, almost um, 100,000 followers. Good for them. Is there anyone else we need to look at? Ooh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go to the dreaded knife news. <laughs> Um, James, oh, here we go. James Brand with the upcycled plastic inlay. You know what I said? You know what I said? I said that inlay looks like a a wealthy Persian's entrance hallway. It looks like marble. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) It it looks like marble, but it's made from plastic. Awesome. I kind of like the way it looks, honestly. Someone sent me one of these to check out. It's made by Riot, so obviously it is like an amazingly well made knife and is beautiful. Like, it's an integral and there's like all this nice milling on the ones that don't have inlays. It's a super nice knife. And because, but they want, but they want $650 for the yeah, basic bitch one. Because it's made by Riot, Of course, it's incredibly nice. Uh, it's no, that is no credit to the James brand at all. It is yeah. all credit to Riot. Yeah. I mean, we'll let the boot reviewers take care of them. Dude, they, they're going to lose their mind. They're going to be like, Oh, $650 seems reasonable for this. Oh, well, they're going to buy it and think that they bought, like, literally the holy grail of knives because they spent $650 on a knife. Yeah. Um, someone asked, Brian, does Brian have anything new coming? He Brian. Sure as hell wasn't a shot show, but. Yeah, I mean, that's not someone that you would. But he does have these. Uh... Yeah, we'll have to have a full episode. Still in development, but. Those yeah, are the, be the cool. field grade um, full size Evos, right? Mm hmm. Neat. Yeah. We'll have to do an actual episode with him where uh, we can talk about how the Typhoon Tens are doing. They're beautiful. He hasn't made too many. No, I didn't think so. I do want one. They're very nice. Um, 
Oh. How about Boker? <laughs> Boker was here. Uh, wow. A, okay. That's an old Les George design. The Talos. Mm-hmm. It was a, Wil- it was a Wilson combat version of that. I used to have it. I, re- I, I remember it. <laughs> Let's see. I... I cannot believe the amount of money I used to drop on knives without even thinking about it. You bought some really bad ones too. I had this knife. It was pretty good. I mean, it was, it was, it was a, one of those like mid techs from the mid tech era, Mm -hmm. but it was the Wilson combat version. Uh, And it was just like, it's it's good looking. It was probably like four seventy five five hundred dollars back then. My probably monthly income back then was probably a thousand dollars. So I was (laughs) just spending 90% of my money on knives more or less there's no better way to live yeah um did best te- i i actually i have zero interest in best techs uh oem uh, stuff that is not oem you know like not that it's not made for other some people. knife influencer posted the other day that they showed the um uh one of the elementums with lexan lexan scales <laughs> they're like move over ultim this is the best material i have ever seen it's lexan dude <laughs> Isn't Lexan like the the like plastic yeah. see through plastic that they use for like race car windows? Yeah, yeah. I uh, well, Best Tech is dead to us after they screwed over Brian anyway. So they didn't really screw over Brian; it just wasn't the right fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess they didn't screw over; they just made the knife wrong. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not. They're not used to working with a knife maker that does all his own CAD and like yeah. presents them with a finished file. <laughs> um to say here this is how you do it and then they just they just redraw it anyway they, that's they're not used to someone doing the work for them so they decide to make it more complicated and then in the process make it worse uh because best tech n- stuff like i mean i handled the knife by the way the mm-hmm. the the dead prototype i'm sure it was good and it was fine it felt like a knockoff of one of brian's knives yeah i mean it didn't have the right but like a hand. good knockoff but without like any of the you know, um, a giant Adam has it. Adam has a new version of the um, oh, the Zerks yeah. coming out. Oh, nice! It'll probably, it'll probably be a KMP version of that. He's partnering with um, uh, Andrew at um, Fanatic Edge. Nice. So that one was. Supposed uh, let me to find be a non all black version because you can't really see stuff well when it's all black very clean yeah nice who's gonna make these this tech oh okay but look at what a nice job they did dude it looks yeah. great that does look good nice yeah so it's like all for the you gotta have the right oem for the job and oh, that's a, best tech does this stuff very very well yeah i mean they make knives really well it's just it's such a bizarre situation with brian <laughs> like mm. it was all it was all done for them they didn't have to do anything I mean, not, yeah. they didn't have to, not they didn't have to do anything, but they had a lot less work to do. Yeah. And somehow goofed it. Um, someone asked, don't you have a Lexan Shiro? Yeah, you had. Did you have uh, that is a custom scale that was done yeah. for my Shiro, but it's not a knife that I would ever use. It just looks cool. Yes. And I did that. What? Like was years four ago, five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's this new giant mouse. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's about it. I, uh, oh, well, I don't know. Let's say Vero. Let's look at the Lux and do that. All right. I will say that this is the only knife I've ever seen that has used bacon Damascus. Well, I think it, it really does actually look good, yeah. looks good. And it is a Damascus that generally doesn't look good. Like almost it's easily his, that's, that's his best looking knife for sure. I, it is incredible. I'm, I'm very pleased with those and. Looking forward to it. It's going to have a hollow grind. It's made by Riot. I mean, it's incredibly skeletonized. Uh, yeah, really cool. Yeah, it's going to be a sick knife. Um, <clears throat> well, I feel like that's 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 a wrap for me. Yeah. Um, hopefully, it. we'll have a, an announcement for a full episode um, within the next week or so. Did I tell you I got bit by a spider? <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good story to end on. Oh wait, we should microtech. Since they're apparently oh completely... yeah, how do we not talk about that? Yeah, you spell yeah. So they basically have redone just about every knife. Oh, these um, sold out incredibly quick. The first run of these, the SoCom Bravo Minis. 
Yeah. They are they're great. Would love to get one. Uh, God, the entire comment that's, section that's is just a, that's a, China though. That's a, yeah, seriously. They still make knives in the US? They just, oh, I like how this one is actually called the Matrix. And they didn't have to uh, they didn't do the Matrix. Thing. Oh no, that was Kershaw that did the Matrix. God, that mm. feels like a million years ago. But it is uh funny to see these coming back. But yeah. Mm-hmm. I like the new LUDT too. The oh yeah, these look great. The LUDT is is Oh, uh, there awesome. he is. There's the guy. Tony Marfioni. Wow. Okay, this okay. is I just want to say I'm sorry, Tony. <laughs> uh do we even Yeah, the new there LUDT is. is is Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Just just go look at them on their yeah. site. You guys can look at them. Um, um but this is is this the the big the, the big the big news is that it's a a completely re-engineered OTF mechanism. So, um, uh, yeah, you know, I guess it was about time. Yeah, you can watch. Yeah. You can go listen to Marfion's podcast after this. Yeah, did stop listening to us. Go listen to the Marfion podcast. They're I'm sure that's going to be value. I can't imagine. You know. All right. Well, I, they don't actually seem to have very much information about the the new stuff. New no stuff. So. No. Okay, well, that's an important yeah. thing to be on the lookout for. Yeah, so I got bit by a spider, and you can see how I look not great right now. That is uh, on account of the the excruciating pain that I'm in because of the spider bite on my left thigh. <laughs> Despite what you may think, David, it does not give you superpowers. It that just drains your energy. Know. Very mm-hmm. important to know. And I was sick for like two months before this. I had that RSV. Oh, nice! You got RSV. And then, wow, you really had a good go it. Yeah, and then it went to like a you know uh, allergy infection. <laughs> I was like, why couldn't I just catch COVID? I've never had COVID, right? Knock on wood. Now, um, I would have taken two weeks of COVID, gotten over it, and been done. This oh, never right. went away. And then the stupid spider took a bite out of me. This is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, the, you know what? The Knife Nuts podcast maybe will be coming to an end when you die from one of these various maladies. Jeff Hanneman style. Yeah. Wait, did Jeff Hanneman die of a spider bite? Yeah. No. Yeah. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. I have to go to his Wikipedia entry now. I mean, there was liver failure due to complications from a spider bite. Yeah, necrotizing, uh, necrotizing fasciitis. Yeah. I got a little of that on my uh Holy shit, I didn't my know leg. that he died from that. Well, from stuff that came afterwards. Yeah. I mean his liver was already dead, so that's why Yeah, the dr- the the whole being in Slayer and drinking a lot probably did not help, but no. uh, okay, the spider well, bite was just a, like a kiss of death, literally. Going out like uh Jeff Hanneman, so mm. for you. Uh, there's an antibiotic coming for me, so All right. I, I think I'll live. Yeah. Live, live to another day. Mm. Maybe we'll do another episode before you die, but at this rate... Maybe I'll be swinging from buildings tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Well, if you uh, if, if, if I see you on top of the um, Brimar Hospital building, I'll, uh, I'll know what's going on. That's about just as high as I'd want to go, is the Brimar, is Brimar Hospital. So it saves the trouble of committing Sudoku on episode one. Right, exactly. We should just call it Sudoku. <laughs> Spider Sudoku. That's very good. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks, yeah, everyone. Thank you, everyone who joined us. Um, you know, we we don't have a huge presence here on YouTube. We uh, so if you could subscribe, that'd be great. You know, we don't release that much content, so you might as well click that little bell too, because. Uh, that way you'll be notified because we don't yeah. we don't really p- do much planning. No. So that's a good way to know when we actually do Are upload gonna something. randomly go live. And thank you to all of our patrons who have kept this uh silly stuff going. I have so much stuff to give away, but I'm saving it for uh a full episode. So much stuff. A big giveaway Palooza sort of situation. Including two field watches from uh RGMT. Look at that. It's a watch company. We're expanding. Yeah. Anyway, 
Uh, nice. Thank you all again. And we'll see you soon, hopefully with a full episode and a special guest. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, we don't have Jake to play us out, but I can That's, just it's, hit It's overdone. Stop.